everyone. So today I have brought you to work with me to meet one of my regular clients who you'll recognise from my recent style swap video and that is Sean from Kittenish Behaviour. So thanks for having me over in your studio today. Do you want to tell everyone a little bit about what you do? Hi everyone, welcome to the sewing studio. For those of you that don't know, I have my very own YouTube channel where, fingers crossed, I hopefully teach you how to sew. I asked Nicola to come over today because I have a challenge for you. I have a pair of absolutely gorgeous irregular choice shoes that I love and I've owned for well over two years. I bought them for myself for Christmas and I've never worn them. But... And I do love a challenge, so I'm excited for this one. <laughs> so many of you will know we also did a, a series of videos actually, one on creating a capsule wardrobe and it's something that I'm extremely passionate about. In theory, having that classic capsule wardrobe will allow you to bring in all of those irregular choice pieces. So we previously did a video on your channel about how to plan which pieces you're going to use and I think we came up with 20 pieces in the end, didn't we, that you actually made yourself from scratch. We planned that I would make five specifically for a video with you. Yes. Then Nicola came over and in that video she picked out a feather 15 to make a 20 piece rounded capsule collection that we then styled. Which we then thought would be a great idea to film that so you can check out this video here and that ended up being a six hour filming session which you, bless you, managed to edit that down to about 45 40, yeah. minutes. Yeah and creating 186 different outfits. So 20 pieces, we did 186. So many people think you need to have a wardrobe full of clothes to create multiple outfits. You don't, a capsule wardrobe will create that and again, allow us to bring in those irregular choices. So you've seen the choice of shoes that we're playing with today. Now let's create some outfits. Okay, so outfit choice number one is always the obvious one which we tend to go for. When we're wearing a ColourPop shoe or something that's more decorative, we always tend to play it safe with the outfit. So you can absolutely do that. So we've gone for a completely neutral look for you just accentuating the waistline with the green colour pop belt which does obviously match the shoes. This is an extremely safe option. This is what I would have usually gone for for these shoes because they've got a print on them. It's a very yes. subtle print but it was one of those things where it's like oh that can't go with anything else. It has to be plain. Yeah. And as you know my wardrobe is predominantly loud, loud print loud so this print. is very outside of my comfort zone but it would be, would have been my go-to, which I think is why I've not worn them yet because Absolutely. it's not my usual kind of thing that I want to wear. Yeah, and it is the most easy thing to do. I feel most of my clients, when they say they've got a pair of shoes, a regular choice like this, it is the safest option to do. To think, I'll go neutral everything else because I've already got the attention being on the feet. And I'm like, yep. Absolutely, you can do that. But let's see what it looks like mixing it with some other prints. Okay, so option number two, we've now added in the print skirt. I kept it solid at the top still, so we've kind of gone for that happy medium balance with print and solids. But actually, even though you've got the pattern next to the pattern shoes, it still looks amazing. The colours actually bring out all of the greens that you've got running through this pattern here. Still highlights back to the waistline again, so it just goes to show you don't have to just wear solids all the time. How do you feel on this one? I really like this one, and I think I, I said this to you before, I'm a matchy matchy kind of girl so I love the fact that I've got the belt and the shoes the same kind of colour because uh -huh. that for me grounds it a bit more. Yeah. I love print and this is a much more me kind of an outfit. I, I really like this. Okay. I do really like this. But I do also want to explore full on print so let's go full Sean and go <laughs> print everywhere and see if we think the shoes go with that as well. So outfit option number three is full on colour, full on print here. I absolutely love this colour on you anyway. Yeah. It always looks so flattering. And we've created that harmonious colour look with the green and the yellow put together. How does this one make you feel? I absolutely love this one. I'm definitely back in my comfort zone yeah. of full on print. This is a very subtle print for me, but it is a full on print. And again, I love the kind of check tweed print of the shoe with the spots yeah. on the dress. I think it looks really, really And cool. it just goes to show you can always mix patterns of patterns. It's yeah. just having that confidence to wear it and to pull it off, which I absolutely think you're doing. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy in this in this one. Given the weather we're having today, this is a definite contender for what we actually might leave the house in. Yay! <laughs> I'm giving you another example of print. We've gone for the blue gingham. And I think, again, it looks amazing. It's the opposite direction of doing harmonious colour with going blue and green this time. I love this, again. I mean, I love all of these pieces because I'm over the moon with the capsule collection that you put together for me but this is definitely again much more in my comfort zone it's never something I would have thought of adding the green shoes with the blue I, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and definitely would wear this one out yes. as well okay but let's throw one more into the mix for you all for our final option we have gone for another solid neutral color but in something that's much more in your comfort zone with that pattern and that print throughout it with the polka dots polka dots are one of my favorite neutral prints and I absolutely love this set together because it does look like a dress which again is another one of my favorite things to 
to wear but it is separate also this one that has plenty of room for the lunch we're about to go out and treat Absolutely. ourselves to looking for the stretchy waistband yeah this is definitely <laughs> the one that i'm actually going to wear out to brunch because comfort levels but also i feel really really stylish in yeah. this and again i love the tartan or check of the shoe with the polka dot print really yeah. really happy with this one and again not something that i necessarily would have thought of and that's great because that's the whole point of it and for me like looking at it from a stylist point of view i just think the shoes completely set the outfit off for a standard you've got the same color all throughout but having these elements of detail to accentuate the waistline and to just bring the attention right back down to the feet with that color pop just gets used to those shoes that you don't actually wear at the moment i've now given you what five uh -huh. just five on their own just from the capsule wardrobe that we've done and there's still plenty more that we could have gone for but just to give you a snapshot that actually don't rule or discount something from your wardrobe just because you're worried about what to put it with have a play around with those different styles pull out different pieces from your wardrobe and just have a bit of fun with it and see does it go does it not like what's the worst that's going to happen you're going to put it on and think yeah no that's a no <laughs> but so far everything's been a yes so don't be afraid to mix patterns thank you so much you're welcome thank you for coming on again today i really appreciate it we can go for lunch now we can go for lunch because i'm absolutely <laughs> starving <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed today's video coming to work with me in Shan's sewing studio. If so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out this one here.